Apparently there's a new rank coming out. Let's see what's all about. I'm Jeremy, also known as Riot Brightman. Hey folks, I'm Andre, also known as Medler, and we're back today with another dev update. So today is Thursday, May 25th, and we're going to be joined by Stephanie Leung, the lead for the Skins team. Stephanie's going to cover some updates on Leeson and Timo's ASUs, the Star Guardian skins that we're bringing ASU. over to Wild Rift, and some news about an upcoming Ultimate skin. Before that though, let's talk about a few updates to Ranked and Clash. So, earlier this year we made some changes to Ranked, including changing promo series from 5 games to 3, removing visible Ranked from matchmaking, and splitting the year into two separate Ranked climbs. We're happy with how those changes have gone so far, and we've got some additional updates coming to Ranked during the mid-season in July. First off, right now the majority of Ranked players are silver and below, with only a small proportion of the player base above Gold 4. Oh, We think small. that distribution is too skewed towards the lower end of the spectrum. You know, we should be making better use of a wide range of Ranks, to reflect how different skill levels actually are in there, depending on the player, okay. you know, rather than clustering players in such a narrow band. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to be changing our ranked distribution. At the same time though, we also don't want to just put a whole bunch more people into Diamond and above. <laughs> so what we're doing is adding a new tier, Emerald, between Platinum and Diamond, oh. by keeping the skill requirements for Diamond Plus the same as they are today. Now if you want to hear more about that, we've got a dev blog out right now Wild that Rift. goes into a lot more details. Another common frustration point is promos. Promos have long been divisive, and removing them between divisions was well received a while back, as was the removal of promos entirely from Wild Rift, and the lack of promos in Teamfight Tactics. You know, we still see ranked systems have a lot of excitement and goal chasing and so on going on there, you know, w without the downsides of the promo system. So, we're going to be completely removing them from League as a result. Oh Wait, my so no god! More in League. No more promos. Okay, I know it's been a minute since we've talked about Clash, so let's just jump in. For many players, wow, that's Clash actually good. is the pinnacle of competitive league. You know, you have a dedicated team, you can scout your opponents, there are extra stakes on the line, but there are also some clear pain points with Clash that we just have to address. So we've got some short-term changes in the works and some longer-term changes planned, but today I'm just going to cover the short-term stuff. So in the near term, we're targeting improvements to three major issues. Teams who forfeit when they lose the first round, <laughs> Clash's overall reliability, <laughs> and making Clash an experience worth planning around. So to address these, we're changing the reward system to be based on how many games you win or lose to encourage playing out the full tournament. Oh. We're changing tournaments to be held monthly instead of bi-weekly, and changing how we monitor and support Clash servers and code to provide more stability. In addition, you know, ARAM Clash last year was really well received. So we're going to be hosting a few non-Summoner's Rift clashes this oh, year. Oh, that's okay. okay starting I'm down with for a, that. another ARAM Clash in August. That's kind of cool. You can read cool. more about the Clash changes in a dev blog that's out today. Okay, that's it from us for now. We're going to hand things over to Stephanie. We'll give you some updates on skins. Hey, everyone. I'm Stephanie 100 Piece Nuggets Leung, the new lead for skins and former Insights Human on League. I'm super nuggets. excited to talk to you all about what's happening on our team these days. As you know, we have ASUs in progress for Leeson and Timo, and I wanted to give you guys an update on them today. For Timo, we're aiming to bring him up to modern standards by hey, updating cool. his spell animations and giving him a more expressive face. We're also going to be updating his voiceover, <laughs> lore, and recalls. For Leeson, our goals are to make his power source of dragon spirit magic a bit more apparent and to increase his gameplay clarity I by got, giving like, him a more visual reworks already. We also want to ensure that he has modern animations and sound effects in this too. And of course, finally putting those neck memes to rest. So while we still have a lot more work to do, we're making good progress on their bases. And after that, we're going to start working on their extensive skin catalogs. As for their releases, Leeson is scheduled for the first half of 2024 and Timo in the second half. For a more detailed look at their progress, check out the dev blog that we published today. I also have a quick update on the Star Guardian skins we're bringing over from Wild Rift. We've been making a lot of progress on Seraphine, oh, wow. Oriana, and Senna, and I'm proud to announce that Seraphine and Oriana will be available Oriana's in 13, a human. 13, with Senna coming one patch later in 1314. We haven't forgotten about Redeem Zion or Khan, and they will be coming towards the end of the year. Legendaries are just taking a little bit longer to adapt than the Epic skins. 
Cristalis Modus Leona is officially out on PVE. She's the first skin in our latest Mythic thematic. And hopefully now that you've gotten your first look, we wanted to share that Talia and Ash will also be receiving the next Cristalis Modus skins later this year. I don't know what Lastly, that is. Lastly, I'm happy to share with all you that Samira will be receiving an ultimate skin as part of this year's summer event. Ooh. For some background, we started out making Samira's skin with a concept in mind and quickly realized that we wanted to take her design beyond the scope of a legendary. So we decided to keep adding more and more and we're really excited about how she turned out. So okay. we'll be sure to keep you updated on all this in the coming months. For now, you can find more information on Skins and Samira's Ultimate in the accompanying dev blog. That's all from me, so I'll hand things back over to Riot Bright Moon and Meddler. All right, that's it for us today. By the next time you hear from us, you'll have a lot more info about the new champion Nefiri and the 2v2v2v2 game mode, because they'll be on PBE. We're also still hard at work at the moment on the Jax and Scanner updates, but we don't have anything more to share on them right now. Also, don't forget that the first ranked split ends on July 17th server time, and then ranked will open back up again on July 19th. <laughs> Be sure to check out all the dev blogs that released today if you're interested on ranked, clash, the ASU updates, and skins. What? Now, we're also trying something Nefari? else a bit different this time, with a separate little video with the, there's a rapid fire question and answer format that, that'll be linked somewhere wherever you're watching this video. That's it? Uh, let us know what you think of it. It's something we're considering doing regularly if that turns out to be a useful thing. Well, there's a lot of dislikes Thanks here. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya. I mean, actually, this could be fake, but I mean, damn. And well, I guess that's it. All right. <laughs> I know Nafari, I'm whatever, but uh, this is kind of cool. I like I like the set rank things. The skins I could really care less, except for the ultimate skin. But uh, why don't they just wait until they have updates on Nefari and stuff like that, right? All right, peace out.